In this video, we're going to show you how to utilize negative tender in order to issue payments to your customers or to your vendors. First thing, let's go ahead and open the negative tender app and click on the plus sign in order to add their payment button. Let's give it a name to this payment button. Let's call it issue payment. The other thing is we have is the payout reason which can be different for every transaction and if this option right here is selected then these payout reasons can be entered uh, by clicking the payout reason button. So let's go ahead and add perhaps a lottery payment, recycle value and the vendor payment which we have already added uh, for the purposes of this video. Let's go ahead and click on payout reason and there they are. So let's go back. So by clicking on save we're going to go ahead and apply our changes and we're done with the negative tender app and we can go back to the regular register app now in the register app if we add an item we can go to the pay screen and the issue payment option is right here we can click on it Let's go ahead and give it an amount of $23.99, for example, and let's choose an option as a recycle value. And let's go ahead and click it Apply uh, Register and click OK. So it appears that another dollar is owed by a customer, and this can be done by clicking on Next Payment, Apply Cash and the transaction is done. So we're done with the transaction and we utilize the negative tender app uh, to give back to the customer and then apply that money back to the transaction. Um, now I'd like to show you how that gets reflected on the transactions and the cash logs. On the cash log we show the recycle value uh, adjustment as a cash out and the payment is shown there and in the transactions we show uh, the payment of $23.99 was issued by our app, $23.99. And also the reporting will show the transaction as a cash adjustment. Thank you.